I'm Melinda Kane, and I've won the SJ Magazine Women of Excellence Award for Inspiration. My story starts basically in, um, in 2008 when my, my husband Bruce died of cancer, and I was raising my three te teenage sons on my own, and uh, my oldest son had decided to join the Marine Corps. My husband and I tried to um, convince my son to reconsider joining the Marines. We were very frightened for him. It was the height of the war, and just tried to encourage him to, to continue with his studies in college, but he was determined, and, and I soon understood his passion for serving the military and defending our nation was no different from pas other passions that, that people have. That day when I received the knock on the door, January 22nd, it was such a, an overwhelming sound in my house, and my young son Benjamin was home at the time, and I just had this sense that something was wrong, and I, I yelled to Benjamin, don't answer the door, and the knock continued. And finally, I went to the door, and I saw two uniformed men standing there. And, and first I thought, oh, are they here recruiting my other sons? And then when I opened the door, the reality sunk in that, that they were here to tell me that something terrible had happened to Jeremy. And then when I realized that they would not speak with me until I sat down and was told that he was killed by a suicide bomber in Afghanistan. I've gone from that knock on the door and, and looking at the faces of my two surviving sons to, to really deciding that I was going to live the best life that I could, that Jeremy lived to 22, my husband lived to 53, and that I was still here and that I had to just live every day to the fullest and make a difference. Families that have, that have lost someone, a loved one in the military, in, in, in service, combat, um, I, I'd like people to know that um, our heart is always broken, but that we, we carry on. We, we get our strength, our bravery from our sons, from our daughters, and that we want to continue giving to our country. When I found out that I was winning this award, it was, it was very emotional. It, it, it actually surprised me how emotional it was because I know that the life that I live would not be if it weren't for Jeremy's loss. So I, I, I take this, it means a great deal to me. And um, the fact that it's for inspiration seems fitting because I try to inspire people every day at work. I try to inspire those that I know and love that no matter what happens, there is, there is an opportunity, there is a choice to be made to, to, to change things, to live the life that you truly want to live, that that, that, that is possible.